So uh, I was just doing a test and apparently now we can just enable this and it will play pretty good. So uh, maybe let's give it like seven. So here's the thing, I created another loop target. Maybe we have him look like that. And now I've actually parented outside the target's parent, so he doesn't move up and down. Although there's nothing stopping you from actually putting it in there, uh, to be honest. But let's see, I'm going to hit play. Of course, you have to have it assigned on the look target on the animator hook. Okay, so here's another thing that we can do. Like this can be the normal one normal state and now once when we are aiming you can be looking like that okay so let's actually mm, yeah let's actually try and animate that so on the target parent i'll do animation i'm just going to say idle just going to get this uh, we can actually just reset this entirely or not let's actually reset the rotation we don't really care anyway for the rotation and can move it something like that and then on naming let's maybe copy the position of this And we do let's compare uh, oops no uh, look target position and rotation okay Comp component and then on naming we'll do best component values and we want this to be animated so we'll just lower it below okay play Okay, and now he's, he actually moves his head as well. Okay, awesome. Now, you could try maybe even adding the adding this right... I don't know if it's going to work because it's inside the recoiler now. Because we changed it. Yeah, we have to make the animations again. If we parent it there. So yeah, maybe you can actually add that as well, but I think his head is not, he is not going to be moving that much that you should care about it. Okay, so with that said, let's assume that the aim rig is going to be copying uh, the rotation of the tilter. Let's try the tilter. Give me a second. So let's open up the TPS handler and let's try add uh, I'm just going to add direct reference to the aim. Well we can do this on the animator hook as well. Yeah okay, I'll do this on the animator hook, but you might be changing the yeah, you might be changing the transform or the, the objects or the models. So you might have to set up the reference again and again. But for now it should be fine. So let's say aim rotation. Aim target rotation. So on update after or yeah or on animator move I guess we can say pivot aim dot rotation is actually going to be the aim target rotation dot rotation can delete this this we don't use it never used it okay so that's it
and we do what is it ah filter all the uh, oh, filter login I guess not. Let's try something else. Yeah, let's see why this didn't work though. I'm actually curious myself. Because we do have the rotation which we should be feeling for. And that rotation is saying is looking down. The aim rig looks oh yeah, because it's in world position, that's why. Yeah, it's not a... Uh, so if this guy was centered at zero, zero, and zero, then there we go. We have the correct one. That's actually awesome. Yeah. So basically, it works, but because we have it offset, it it doesn't. And I think we probably can do something about that. Uh, there's probably a way to do it. Uh, let's see, Quaternia dot. That just inverses it. Hold on. Well, there's a fix. A simple easy fix and I'm always up for simple fixes and we do a utility and we will do a copy or copy rotation open that up So avoid update and then we do public transform target transform target uh, transform dot rotation equals target transform dot rotation and then on the the meter hook we'll just copy local rota local rotation to local rotation local rotation to local rotation and the reason why I'm not picking the local rotation of the tilter is because the tilter always has zero on the Y of course we could be creating the Oilers I guess that will have also been civil but whatever okay so rotation helper copy rotation Drag the tilter in here and then on the animator hook, rotation help. Oops. The same target. And there we go. Awesome. That's actually perfect. I'll just load this. You can of course fix a little bit the animation so they are looking straight but right now it's fine keep in mind he's offsetted so if we want it to be entirely correct with it on how he's looking he should be at the center which doesn't look too bad he is aiming a little bit lower than what he he should have been but we can fix that no problem but yeah, this looks pretty good already. Pretty damn good, to be honest. Yeah, so that's it. There's your cold aiming. And even if you are now crouching, voila, it works. Let's move him on the side. It works because it's all done procedurally and with a K. Maybe you want to change a little bit the look target when he's crouching. But that should not really be an issue. You can see it's 
definitely working really good. Awesome. Yeah, so let's finish this video as well in here. Because this is tight. Awesome. So I'll see you on the next one. As always, like, subscribe, share with your friends, family, or whatever. And of course, Patreon is really important so that we can keep continuing doing all these things. So if you can support it, then please do so. I'll see you on the next one.